A FOX 11 FOLLOW-UP TONIGHT ABOUT THE RESOLUTION OF A SITUATION THE MARINETTE COUNTY SHERIFF TODAY DESCRIBED AS ONE OF THE MOST DANGEROUS HE'S EVER SEEN. TONIGHT, FOUR SUSPECTS ARE IN THE MARINETTE COUNTY JAIL IN CONNECTION WITH MULTIPLE BURGLARIES, A HIGH-SPEED CHASE AND SHOTS BEING FIRED. THE CHASE LAST NIGHT WAS ON HIGHWAY 141. THE SUSPECTS ENDED CRASHING JUST NORTH OF MIDDLE INLET, WHICH IS ABOUT FIVE MILES NORTH OF CRIVETS. INVESTIGATORS TELL FOX 11'S ERIC PETERSON the arrest so far may be just the beginning. The Marinette County Sheriff says the situation began Wednesday after Michigan police alerted his department two, maybe three burglary suspects were staying at a Krivitz motel. Later in the day Wednesday, deputies spotted a car they believed belonged to one of the suspects. When officers followed, the vehicle sped off. Began firing uh, several handgun rounds through the back window of the car at our deputies. Officers rolled stop strips across the highway. The vehicle's tires were deflated and went off road left here by Burnish Road. Chuck and Rose Beekler live right across the street. And all of a sudden there's cop cars all over the place. Oh my God. There was two, two cops came to the door and they said we better go out for a while. Residents were evacuated and businesses nearby were locked down. Officers arrested the passenger, but the driver made his way through the woods before convincing two neighbors to give him a ride to Krivitz. Now, these two people had no idea how much danger they were in. Deputies stopped the car on the highway and made the arrest. During the same time frame, two more people were arrested at a Krivitz gas station. Investigators believe the two may be helping the suspects escape. The sheriff says three of the suspects, all men, are related and from Lower Michigan. A fourth suspect, a woman, is from Green Bay. Investigators say the Michigan men could be responsible for burglaries in the Upper Peninsula and Northeast Wisconsin. There were uh, various weapons taken in the burglaries, um, shotguns, rifles, and we did have contact with uh, handguns that we believe were actually used uh, in the firing at the deputies. The sheriff says he believes the suspects may be connected to seven other burglaries in recent days. Some of these places could be seasonal too, and then what we find out is they aren't discovered right away all the time. So there will be more. In Marinette County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. The Marinette County District Attorney says he's reviewing the police report, and we could hear from him about formal charges as soon as tomorrow.